All right, here's an eight move simple warm up to get you ready for any of your exercise programs. Great way to start out safe. So the first thing we like to do is down on the floor, we're gonna work on a breathing drill just to basically get your central nervous system ready, also to get your body primed, right? So the first one we're gonna try is a pretzel here. So James is gonna bring this knee across. He's gonna drive it down into the ground. We're doing a partial pretzel here to start. And then he's gonna look towards this opposite shoulder. And when he does a nice exhale, relaxing the system, that shoulder's gonna get as low as he can. This knee's gonna get as low as he possibly can as well, while maintaining his ribs down. So what he's doing here is loosening up the back, loosening up the hip, and getting his body primed and ready. Now to turn this one up, if you're more than mobile here, he's gonna grab that back foot, bring it into that hand, this hand's gonna go on top of this knee here, and he's even gonna bring this knee a little bit closer, this, this knee and foot here, and he's gonna do the same thing. Deep breath in, fill that body with oxygen, and as he exhales, you notice that shoulder's dropping, that knee's dropping, so he's getting a total body stretch here, but really he's teaching his breath how to engage and get his diaphragm ready. You're gonna wanna hit six on each side here of breaths. Now after that, we like to get the hips going, loosening up the hamstrings and glutes. He's just gonna grab the knee and gonna go alternating knee pull-ins. Exhales, pulls it on down. You can see he's going with a nice stretch. He's keeping this leg flat and just alternating back, forth, back, forth. So you can give this a go for about eight reps on each side or maybe 30 seconds depending on how it feels for your body. All right, the third one next. He's gonna flip on over. We're gonna get into what's called quadruped position. This is all four. So shoulders are stacked over the hands, hips are stacked directly over the knees. And then he's gonna just simply reach on through and gonna thread this needle, right? So the hand's gonna come through, exhale and looking towards it. Notice that shoulder does come down, this elbow does bend as he's coming. And he's gonna come back on up and then shifting to the other side. So what we're trying to see here is as much rotation from that upper back, but keeping the lower part of the back completely flat. His heels aren't caving in, he's not collapsing. And he's just gonna go back, forth. We typically like to do about five on each side, right? Now, while he's in this same position, we're gonna go into an extension. So he's gonna place hand up on the temple. And now from here, he's coming up. So he's gonna exhale and look towards that elbow, opening up, you can see he's really working, and then back on down. He's gonna go all five on one side, 